you guys welcome back to my channel for another video as you guys can see i have my face done i just finished everything and i'm doing the intro right now i'm starting to slowly get into like my fall vibes and stuff so, to me it's like with the brown the orange the yellow it's like thanksgiving vibes and then like a pop of color on the lower lash line because I just love some color okay like i can't stay away from it so um yeah hope you guys like this video well also this video is going to be like a voiceover so i will be voiceovering everything for the rest of the video yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video um at the end if you did enjoy it don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on the video so i know that you guys enjoyed it and yeah enjoy the video Hi hey you guys, welcome to the voiceover portion of this video. For eyebrows today, I'm going to fill them in with my Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade in the shade Black Brown. And I'm taking this product into my brows. I'm going to take the same brush that the pomade comes with to spool it through the brows. And for foundation today, I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24-Hour Freshwear Foundation in the shade Linen 425. And I'm going to take a round flat brush, put a little bit of foundation on my flat brush, and take that foundation to the eyebrows and carve out the top of my eyebrows with my foundation. So after that, I will take my e.l.f. beauty sponge and blend out the foundation on my forehead and then take my concealer, which is ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Light 16 as eyeshadow base and to carve on my eyebrows with a round flat eye brush and then taking the sponge again to blend everything together and make sure everything is nice and smooth on the eyelids. I'm taking my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Original and applying that on top of the concealer and then tapping it out with my finger, blending it in, warming it up to the eyelids and then I'll go back in with my e.l.f. Beauty sponge and blend everything together one last time. Today I will be using Jeffree Star Cosmetics Eyeshadow Palette. With a nice fluffy blending brush, I am going to be taking the shade Cone and taking that into the crease and blending it upwards as my first transition shade. I'm taking a different blending brush. This one's a little bit more tapered to a point and I'll be taking the shade Tasty and taking that into my crease and blending it out in the crease as well. I applied some no filter concealer on the back of my hand and picked it up with a flat brush and now I am doing a half cut crease. I am packing the shade Virgin which is a white matte eyeshadow and I am packing that all over wherever the concealer is. And then I am going back into Tasty and filling in the outer corners of the eyelid. And then I'm going back into Cone to blend in Virgin and Tasty on the eyelids. And then after that, I am taking an eyeshadow called Lemon Drop. It's a metallic shade. And then after that, I'm going in with the shade Orange Juice, which is another metallic on the eyelids as well. I'm going to be taking the shade and what question mark from the palette and putting it right in between tasty and orange juice and as soon as I'm done with that I'm going to go in with foundation my 24 hour freshwear foundation from L'Oreal Paris and applying that all over the face and to set all over the face I'm taking my Maybelline fit me loose finishing powder in the shade 15 and very lightly just setting my foundation and for under eyes, to set under my eyes, I'm using a lighter powder, but it's the same brand. It's in the shade 10 called Fair Light. 
For bronzer, I am taking my Wet n Wild bronzer in the shade What Shady Beaches and applying that everywhere you can put bronzer, as you can see. And for blush, I am taking my LA Girl Blushed Bay Palette and I'm taking the more mauvey, pinky mauvey shade and applying that to my cheeks and blending it out as well. Now it's time to do the lower lash line. Somebody's beeping, I'm so sorry. I'm taking a pencil brush and going back into the eyeshadow palette taking Bite Me and applying Bite Me on the lower lash line. For highlighter, I'm taking my J Cat Beauty Baked Highlighter in the shade Crystal Sand. And this highlighter is so good, so good. I love this highlighter. For lips, I am applying this lipstick from Maybelline called Blushing Beige in the shade 915. And for the pencil, I used Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner in the shade Lay Down the Mobs. And I am using a Buxom Plumping Lip Gloss. So good, so good. I love me a good lip gloss moment, as you can see here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm into it. And then I am taking a lash curler and curling my lashes and applying mascara Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara Waterproof. And that's it, you guys.